This video is brought to you by SoccerPro.com, bringing you everyday low prices with no membership fees. Be sure to use coupon code SR4U at checkout to receive $10 off any order of $100 or more. Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on-feet video of the Adidas Ace 15.1 in the latest white and metallic silver colorway. Now inside the box, they do include a string bag to go along with the shoes themselves. The string bag on the front is kind of a burgundy color that fades into a brighter orange slash reddish color. It does have the orange color strings, the Ace branding in white on the front, as well as your Adidas football branding, while the back of the bag is kind of like a dark gray color, no branding whatsoever. Other than that, all you're gonna find inside the box are of course the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly, and we'll take a closer look at what I think is the best colorway of the Ace 15.1 that we've seen so far. Now, of course, in this video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the colorway itself. We're gonna be talking performance. We're gonna take a look at the weight of the shoe, as well as talk about how these things fit and feel on feet. So if you are interested in learning more about the Ace 15.1 in this specific colorway, please stick around and watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description. On that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you'll be able to pick these guys up below their normal $220 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway. Now, I'm personally a big fan of white shoes, so I really like how these look. The majority of the upper is white, but so what's cool is they incorporated a metallic silver liner on the inside so because of the um, ace 15.1 control web upper construction the raised parts of the upper are white and then the little cutouts are silver which looks really really cool and gives the shoe a very unique look it does have white laces as well as your white ace branding on the tongue the three adidas stripes on both the lateral and medial side while they just appear to be solid white it's actually a reflective material so that does reflect the light and gives off a pretty cool effect in kind of a stadium lighting environment you do of course have the white adidas branding on the back of the heel whereas the rear portion of the shoe in general is pretty much metallic silver in color the upper as well as the heel counter and the studs as well whereas the rest of the sole plate is pretty much solid white it's a translucent finish as you can see kind of exposing the orange accent in the stud so you have that little pop of orange at the bottom of the shoe that you won't really notice while you're standing but once you start running that orange will definitely pop out um, kind of being exposed at the bottom of the sole plate. So that is pretty much it in terms of the colorway itself. Really big fan of how these look. Let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comment section. Do you like how these look? Why or why not? Now with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. In regards to performance, I really like the Ace 15.1. It features a control web upper that is pretty unique in terms of how it feels. It's a similar construction to that of the Nike Magista Opus in that it's a base layer of mesh with a synthetic layer on top with all cutouts exposing that internal mesh base layer, uh, but ultimately feels completely different than what you're gonna find from the Opus. The material itself is what I would describe as like a firmer foam material, and it's kind of unique in terms of how it feels because when you put it on your foot and start running around, the upper is very flexible, moves nicely with the bend of your foot, but doesn't feel as padded as you might expect them to be. This is definitely a thinner shoe in terms of feel on the ball, but it has kind of a firm padded sensation. There's a very slight amount of cushion, but like I said, they don't feel soft on the ball, just a very firm amount of kind of dampening effect is what I would describe these in terms of feel. And then of course you have a thin layer of fused polyurethane on top to kind of seal everything up. So it's not exposed mesh like you're gonna find on the Opus, which does make them a little bit different. On the surface of the upper as well, which is kind of difficult to see on this colorway, there are very fine dots, which they call their non-stop grip system, which is similar to Nike's ACC technology in that it's supposed to provide better grip on the ball in all types of playing conditions. More importantly, wet weather. Is it super noticeable? Honestly, no, uh, but ultimately the touch you get on the ball is pretty decent. Not a lot of extra grip, but just a little bit. Uh, certainly not like the Predators, which is kind of what this shoe is replacing. It does have the off-center lacing system, as you guys can see. It's got a fairly chunky heel area with these big kind of bubble pads on the sides of your ankle that personally did not bother me, but I know a lot of people don't like that extra bulk there, so that is something worth keeping in mind. It does have the deepest fit of all the new Adidas models, so a locked-in heel sensation is definitely what you're gonna find with this particular shoe, given that you get the right size. It has a smooth synthetic leather liner with a decent amount of padding, so step-in comfort is certainly not an issue here at all. 
The insole is fully removable. It features a mesh liner on top, perforations through the first three quarters of the shoe, and then of course, uh, three quarters of the insole, sorry. And then it does have just a standard layer of foam, pretty much the same as all the other Adidas insoles, just with some very slight variations to it. But ultimately it does feel the same as everything else from the brand. Uh, and then of course you do have your external heel counter, which I really like. On, on the Ace 15.1. And then of course you move on to the sole plate and stud pattern, which I think is the most unique characteristic of this shoe in terms of performance and what you're gonna notice while wearing them. Uh, it's got a sole plate that is pretty much just a standard TPU plastic that is relatively flexible. So again, they feel natural when you're running in them. But of course it does have their ground control stud pattern, which is FGAG. Um, something that is exclusive to Adidas at the moment. So if you are playing on firm natural grass as well as artificial grass, this stud pattern is well suited for both of those playing surfaces. So if you only wanna buy one pair of shoes as opposed to two, this is definitely one of, the, one of those shoes to consider because out of the three new FG AG models from Adidas, I really think that this is, like I said, the best of them that is well suited for both natural as well as artificial playing surfaces. You can see it features pretty much all conical studs four in the heel, six main ones in the forefoot, and then you have all these little conical studs in between running through the middle. It's a really, really unusual layout, but ultimately one that works really well. The stud pattern, or the main studs themselves, are on the shorter side as far as firm ground shoes go, so they're not quite as long as what you're gonna find from, like I said, the other two models from Adidas, or just most other firm ground shoes in general, um, which means that you're a little bit lower to the ground than you would normally be in a firm ground pair of shoes. Ultimately, the traction is still really good on natural grass because you have those six main studs in the forefoot, the four in the heel, and then all these little ones. It bites and digs into the ground quite well, um, which like I said, gives you plenty of traction and a really nice, stable, low profile sensation. But if you are gonna be using them on artificial grass as well, they don't feel clingy, the studs aren't too long, and ultimately it just performs really, really well. So again, if you're looking for really the ultimate FGAG stud pattern that's currently available, the Ace 15.1 is definitely one of those shoes to consider. So that's pretty much it in terms of performance. And next we're gonna move on to a quick weigh-in so we can see how lightweight these guys are. In regards to weight, the Ace 15.1 is not what you would consider to be particularly light, but it certainly isn't heavy either. So I'm gonna weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind, this is a brand new pair in a size nine US. We're gonna throw it on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 9.3 ounces, the equivalent of 264 grams. So out of all the new models from Adidas, the Ace 15.1 is the heaviest of the bunch by about a full ounce. Is this a significant amount of weight in comparison to something like the X15.1? Yes and no. You'll notice a weight difference between the two, but like I said, it's not something that's going to weigh you down while you're playing. And as long as you're looking for something that is more about comfort and providing a nice solid feel on your feet, as opposed to being as light as possible, you shouldn't have any issues with the weight of the Ace 15.1. All right, so here is a look at the Ace 15.1s on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock white laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of metallic silver reflective SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. Find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video. Now in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, they're very comfortable from right out of the box. The shoe feels thinner than you might expect. It doesn't really have a padded sensation on feet, but the upper is very, very flexible because of all the cutouts. So break-in time is kept to a minimal with the Ace 15.1. It does have the deepest fit out of all the Adidas models right now, um, which gives the shoe a very kind of solid sensation on your feet when you pull the laces tight. As far as width is concerned, they're gonna be suitable for most people. This is the widest synthetic model on offer from the brand at the moment. Um, so as long as you don't have excessively wide feet, these should fit you just fine. Um, and as far as stretching is concerned, the upper doesn't really give all that much. So for the most part, the way they fit from right out of the box is the way they're gonna fit for their entire lifespan. In regards to sizing, I'm wearing my usual size nine US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right, guys, that is it for my review of the Adidas Ace 15.1. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my 
website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you will find high quality images of this exact pair that I took myself. That'll give you a better idea as to how these actually do look in person, as well as buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. We will be able to pick these guys up below their normal $220 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions at all regarding the ACE 15.1, leave them down below in the comment section. I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.